Hey guys, Gary Dean. I um, wanted to shoot a video today on training. Um, I get a bunch of questions about training. Uh, so I will address that. And uh, that'll be that. Also want to mention, this is the most amazing beef jerky on the planet. It's so good. I'm actually um, working on going into the beef jerky business. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm an entrepreneur. I like business. Got my start in the detailing business, so now time to do other stuff too. I'm already involved in a few extra things, but gotta blow it up. Gotta do more. Always want to do more. Um, so anyway, I made a ton of jerky. This is the, uh, I'm calling this uh, Davy Jones's Locker. I'm going with a uh, pirate theme. This particular stuff would be uh, what most would call, I guess, their original or whatever. It's like a base flavor uh, before you add other flavors to it. This right here, that's about, I don't know, that's a pound right there of jerky. Look at that, that's a pound of jerky. A whole pound of my, oh, my pirate, pirate punch. Um, so yeah, I'm working on that. Uh, I actually put in a call to the uh, Florida Department of Agriculture, and uh, I'm going to get rolling with that. It's a, I mean, I use uh, no artificial preservatives. It's incredibly flavorful, fresh, USDA, top choice meat. Um, you know, I, you know, I'm able to do, and this has been a hobby for, forever uh, of mine, years and years working on this recipe. And, um, you know, I'm able to do exactly what I want. I make it how I want. Uh, and every time I make it and send out samples or, you know, people have been begging me for it. So, um, they've been raving about it for a few years now and, you know, it's time to do that. Anyway, it's not what this video is about. However, uh, the jerky situation is working. I am in the process of figuring that situation out. Um, you know, it's outstanding. I love it. It's a healthy snack. And, um... I'm pursuing that. So anyway, uh, the video is about training. I want to talk to you about, um, I, get a, I get asked all the time, do you offer a training program? Um, can I come there and spend some time with you? Well, the biggest problem with that now is, first of all, if you spend time with me while I'm working, then it slows me down and that's not good for anybody. Um, I have been thinking a lot about putting together a maybe a quarterly training program that I would take, you know, X amount of people and, you know, and spend like the weekend with them. You know, we'll do like a, an actual detailing day on maybe the Saturday or the first day and then do a business day on the second day. And I'll tell you what, you can know how to detail all day long, but if you can't run a business, you will fail. Period. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. That is the truth. Uh, and you know, I feel like my calling is to try to help you guys with the business side. You know, I've, I've tried for years to you know get out. You know, how I feel like you should run the the detailing side and and to improve your processes and make things more efficient and that kind of thing. And that's the direction that this uh, YouTube channel is going, giving you a combination of the reality that is detailing and shaving time off the deal without compromising quality, um, but also showing you some of the business stuff. Now here's the problem with that. I can show you stuff all day long and talk, talk to you about it on the internet uh, and show you stuff in videos and that kind of thing. It's a completely different situation to be in an environment with me where I can show you hands-on how to do it and talk to you face-to-face, -face, run you through different scenarios, uh, you know, about, you know, customer acquisition, sales, marketing, advertising, all kinds of stuff like that. 
You know, I can give you small pointers through these videos, but it would I feel like it would be far more beneficial for someone to interact with me and, and be on a face-to-face -face basis uh, to get that kind of training. So if you guys are interested in that, now, and I'm not saying I'm doing it, I'm telling you uh, I am fishing right now for, you know, you guys to send me a message at 813-846-4406 uh, and let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. I don't know how much I would have to charge to make this worth my while and to work, you know, to, you know, how much effort I've got to put into it to make it worth your while. But I can tell you, I worked for years on putting a, a training program together. Uh, I have trained many, many people. Uh, RawDetailTV.com was a site that it's still up, but I'm kind of moving away from that. Um, I might do something with it in the future, but I really, I'm at the point where I want to give back and I want to, um, you know, help people as much as I can. And I want it to not cost you much to get this information. However, if I do a one-on-one -on -one kind of training program where I, you know, invite people in, we have, you know, a setup where I've got to spend a bunch of money to make sure that your experience is fantastic. I got to charge for that. That's the bottom line. So if you guys are interested in doing a training course course with me, um, you know, it would it could be a weekend thing. You guys would fly in, um, you know, we'd spend one day doing maybe a, a bunch of detailing and I'd show you one-on-one -on -one tips and tricks and then the next day would be dedicated to business, which I think is the most important part of what I can bring to the table. I mean, you got all these companies out there, all these independent detailers or whatever that have been in the game for a long time and, you know, they, they offer training uh, for the detailing that they do, but the problem is we all bring different dynamics to the situation. Um, and I decided when, well, I, I don't really want to mention a lot of names because I'm not, I definitely wouldn't want to discredit or take anything away from any of those guys. But a lot of the guys that train, they're showing you just the detailing side. They're not really showing you the business side and how to really be successful and make the money and, and put the program together. Um, and you know, I haven't taken their detailing programs, but I have talking, I have I've talked to lots of people who have been involved with other programs. And it's really it's either like an advanced paint correction situation, which you know, it's good to know paint correction. You should know that, and that would be involved in the training program that I would put together. We'd definitely go over that and you'd learn a lot from it. But I feel like and no, I know that the money is made in um job security, you know, the, the jobs that are readily available and you doing a good job and keeping those customers coming back and then you take those bigger jobs as you can get them. Um, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a big believer in maintenance versus, you know, set it and forget it. That's not, it just, just doesn't work. You, you have to maintain everything. And, you know, maintenance programs for your customers and that kind of thing are really where uh, your business will shine. And uh, literally, there's no pun intended there. But um, so I guess training in itself um, is is good. It's good to have different perspectives on the deal. Uh, what I mean by that is you can literally go to one guy who trains detailing or whatever and then go to the next guy who trains detailing and, and, and doing that thing. You could take two different courses and you'll get different information or a different way to get to the same end result. Now, the base is going to be the same. I mean, that's the bottom line. You only start out and get somewhere one way as far as the core. Now, all the outside stuff, you know, you know, evolving into who you are, that's going to take extra stuff uh, that you would basically just add to the base. Uh, and, and it will evolve and grow from there. Different perspectives are good. Now, here's the problem with the internet or the training situation in general. Even if you go and you have one-on-one -on -one training with a detailer who's successful or widely known out there, um, that detailer is going to have a system that he's put together that he's showing you and that you should follow to get the results that he's sending you on a course to get and trying to help you uh, on your way for. 
The problem with people is that they take all this different information. They listen to this guy, listen to that guy, listen to their friend, listen to this, listen to that. And, you know, they can really follow one person and take their training program, but then they, uh, they get off course. What I'm trying to tell you is if you're going to take a training program from someone, you're going to pay them to train you how to do something, to help you to be more successful in detailing, or whatever your venture is, but specifically detailing, then if you don't follow the steps that they have put in place, that outline, if you don't follow that, you will not get to the end result that they're trying to get you to. You can't follow what I say, kind of, what he says, kind of, what he says, kind of, and build your own situation. It doesn't really work like that. Um, you, you can do that. You probably could be successful. But my point is, it's far easier if you're going to take a program from someone to follow it and really give it an opportunity to put you in a position of success. If you don't follow what someone teaches you, and that's the same exact thing. So for example, like my product line, we build all my products to work together with each other. And if you don't use my system, if you throw in a product here and a product there, or you maintain my, we'll say, Vitality Shield with someone else's soap, I can't, like, there's, I, I can't tell you how long Vitality Shield's gonna last. Uh, with that soap. I don't know what the ingredients of that soap are, but I know that if you use the perfect soap to maintain Vitality Shield, you could get up to a year of durability with that stuff. I mean, you know, it's, it's all about a system. And when you go off that system, then there's, there's, there's no way to guarantee results uh, for anybody, whether it's a product line manufacturer or a training situation. And so my advice to you is if you're going to invest your time and your money into a system, you follow that system. Give it a solid opportunity to benefit you before you decide, hey, maybe this isn't working or maybe I need to tweak it or maybe it needs my own flair on it because ultimately you need to build your own business. Now, the, the purpose of the training would be to expedite the process of learning and the curve that's involved. The problem with that is if you, if you live in Florida and you take a training course from somebody that lives in Wisconsin or California or New York or Canada or Australia, it, it's probably not going to work out like you think. Because they're going to show you things that they know from their experiences in the area that they're in. And I'm not saying that you should exclude these people who aren't in your state or in your environment. I, I am saying that if, for example, hypothetically, if I offer this training course and you come see me and you're from um, Washington, that you're going to have to tweak the outline a little bit to work well in your area. But you need to stay on course with what I show you uh, and the steps in which I can help you to be successful. You need to follow that direction and go with that. I would highly recommend that you not take a training class from this guy over here and then come back here and then disregard most of what he said because you like this better from this guy over here and do that. Or if you take a training course from this guy and then one from this guy and then you try to put those together before you give either one a shot individually, I feel like that's not the way that you should do it. My whole point here is that if you're going to invest your time in training, and your money in training, and your effort in training, and if you're going to give it a wholehearted shot, that means that you need to do it as it's discussed to a T and see if that particular situation works. Give it a wholehearted opportunity to work for you instead of piecing things together. 
Because I can tell you that if you're going to piece things together, don't bother spending money on a training course that I would do or that anybody else would do. Um, you're going to waste your time. Now, if you really, really like how somebody does it, uh, I mean, I know that there are a couple of big companies out there, uh, a couple of bigger name detailers that are out there that offer training uh, courses. If you like how they do things and what they're about and you like that person, that's cool. You should invest in that but follow it to a T. If you like what I'm doing, what I'm about, I'm about making money. I'm about showing you the easiest way to get there with the least amount of kinks involved, uh, keeping it simple and you know, allowing my products and my processes to blend together uh, as well as my knowledge of people and how I deal with them uh, and all of that works together and you can make money and be fulfilled and be happy and just expedite your way to success with what I can show you. Now if you like that then you'd come to me. If you like a different situation, if you like only paint correction, only high-end cars. If you want to do that, that's fine. There are far fewer of those jobs out there than what I'm trying to get you to go after. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't take them. It just means there are fewer of them out there, which means less job security. And, you know, maybe you feel better about yourself. I don't know. I'm in it to make money. I want more jobs lined up where I can make money. I want to go bam, 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 knock them out, make the customer happy, and make that money. That's how I roll. That's what I do. It's all about the customer and taking your hobbyist mindset and throwing it out the door and get your businessman hat on. Uh, put your big boy panties on and really, really focus on the business side. Um, so anyway, as far as training goes, figure out who you want to who you want to train with and give that training an opportunity to work for you. Follow the direction to a T. Do that. If that doesn't work for you, then you can move on. That's my suggestion to you. That's my recommendation. Um, piecing it together is far more difficult than taking an outline that's already there for you to put into effect and make yourself successful. And this video and this information comes directly from me following everybody else and, and paying attention to what's going on online and, and, and how people react to different training uh, courses and that kind of thing. You got to understand, you may not love everything about it, but to start changing things when somebody's already outlined it for you and you've invested your time and money into it is doing yourself an injustice. Do what they say make it work for you and you're going to be successful that's the bottom line uh, if you know if not don't invest your time or your money or your effort into individual training use the internet for the plethora of information that it is but just keep in mind the internet is a big ball of shit with too much information from people who don't know what you're what they're talking about. They have no clue what they're talking about. 99% of the people on the internet that talk about stuff have never been involved in it, never done it for themselves, never been in a real detailing environment. Most of them can't get the work. They're whiny little brats and, you know, they they only know what they what they read. Uh, you know, again, the internet is a ball of shit. And you have to weed through the shit to find the good stuff. And I'm trying to teach you the good stuff. So if you want a training program from me, let me know. I'll put it together. We'll make it work. We'll make it awesome. And, you know, if you guys commit to me to do what I show you to do, you will be successful. Period. I'm only teaching things that I have done for myself in two different environments that I know work. And I've been training people all over the planet for years, and I know this stuff works. It works, it works, it works. Period. So, uh, if you guys got questions for me, 813-846-4406. Uh, you know, again, in recap, it doesn't matter where you get your training. If you relate to one guy, 
and you really want to put your money and effort into that, you should do it. Nothing wrong with that, whether it's me or someone else. Put your effort in and really give it your wholehearted effort. Don't go in half-assed because you're going to fail and you're going to waste money and time. Nobody got time for that. So um, let me know if you need me. I'm always here. Uh, I make myself available on a level that nobody else does. You don't, you, you don't find those other big companies, uh, the, the owners of the companies, or even the management, or even you know, the higher-end people uh, involved in these other detailing product line situations uh, offering up their expertise like I do. I want to help you guys. Um, and, and that's really all I got for you today. So uh, send me a text message uh, or leave me a voicemail. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, I want to say that I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch my videos. Um, it's important to me. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your trust and your support in me. And uh, again, let me know if you want that training program because I'll put something in together. We'll get it done. We'll figure it out. And depending on the interest that I get, uh, you know, I may be able to do one one per month. I don't know. We'll do it. You know, whatever I've got to do, as long as I can justify it with time and you know my monetary output then uh, we'll go from there so thank you again have a wonderful day guys and uh, keep on detailing keep on learning and uh, you're gonna get there I'm gonna help you with that for sure thanks <laughs>